through verse 11. Let a woman learn in silence with full submission. I permit no woman to, to, to teach or have authority over a man. She is to keep silent. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman was deceived and became a transgressor. Yet she will be saved through childbearing, provided they continue in faith and love and holiness with modesty. And then our second passage from Galatians chapter 3, beginning of verse 27. As many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is, no, there, there, <laughs> there is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female, for all of you are one in Christ Jesus. This is the word of God for the people of God. There are two stories of creation in Genesis. In the first story, man and woman are created at the same time, after all the animals. In the second story, man is created before all the animals, and after no partner is found for Adam among the animals, then Eve was created. And Adam was grateful that the animal experiment failed. I came across the third story of creation from the internet, so it must be true. <laughs> Eve walked with the Lord and thanked God every day for the beautiful garden of Eden. One day she asked the Creator, Lord, why is it that the animals live in pairs, but I am alone? The Lord answered, I've been waiting for you to ask. I have the perfect mate for you. It is called a man. He will care for you. He will be the strong and silent type, and he will be the father of your children. He has some faults, but I believe your generous nature will overlook them. <laughs> Eve responded, oh, thank you, Lord. I have, long, I have long for a companion like myself. A man sounds fine. The Lord said, Eve, there is one thing you must do if you really want the man as your life companion. Yes, Lord, I will do whatever you wish. Remember that I warned you the man has some faults. One of them is his ego. It will require something of you. Ego, Lord, what will a man's ego require of me? And, and the Lord, Lord said, said, well, for one thing, you will, you will have, have to let the man, man think that, that I created him first. first. <laughs> Eve, Eve said, okay. okay. Then the then Lord, Lord said, said and, and it will have, have to be our little, little secret. secret. You, know, you know, woman, woman to woman. To woman. Some Christians, Some Christians do not, do not believe, believe women, women should be ordained, ordained as, pastors as pastors or priests. priests. Many, Many were, were hoping that Pope Francis would reverse the Roman Catholic, Catholic stance, stance against, against female, female clergy, clergy. But, that but that has, has not happened. happened. The Southern, Southern Baptist, Baptist Convention, Convention split, split over, over ordaining, ordaining women, women, with the, the moderate, moderate group, group forming, forming the, the Cooperative, Cooperative Baptist, Baptist Fellowship, Fellowship, and they, they ordain women. women. However, However, clergy, clergy women, women have, have been, been part, part of Methodism, Methodism since, since John Wesley, Wesley licensed Sarah, Sarah Crosby, Crosby to preach, to preach in, in 1761. Although women, women were ordained, ordained in the Methodist, Methodist tradition, tradition as early as, early as the 1860s, 1860s, on May 4th, 1956, 1956 the, the General, General Conference, Conference gave, gave all clergy, clergy rights, rights to women. women. So, so women, women have been, been ordained, ordained in, in the United, United Methodist Church, Church. It'll be, It'll be 64, 64 years, years in May. May. And, and though, though the, the ordination, ordination of women, women has been our practice, practice for more than six de de decades, decades I, want I want to address this issue, issue of female, female clergy. clergy. Why? Why? Two, reasons. Two reasons. First, First I, know I know some United, United Methodists, Methodists still, still do not believe in ordaining, ordaining women, women as pastors. pastors. And, and second, second, biblical, biblical passages, passages against, against female, female leadership, leadership are good are examples of parts of the Bible we should set aside. Why? Jesus, Jesus set aside biblical, biblical passages, passages that, that were unjust, unjust and unfair. unfair. So, we, so we, follow we follow his example. example. While these, While these passages, passages may have, have been appropriate in ancient, ancient patriarchal culture, they, they do, do not, not apply to the, to the church, church for all time. time. About, About 15, 15 years, years ago, Debbie, Debbie McLeod was, was the district, district superintendent of the Southeast, Southeast district. district. She asked, she asked me, me to serve on a panel, panel discussion, discussion for a church in our, in our district, district that was about to receive their first, their first female, female pastor. pastor. Some, Some people, people in the congregation did not, did not want to have a female pastor, pastor and they had let the district superintendent know. No. Debbie, Debbie wanted, wanted me to go there because I have a PhD in biblical studies and because I supported women in ministry. 
The male, the male pastor, pastor who was leaving was conservative. conservative. I, don't I don't think he really, really believed in female, in female clergy. I still, I still love him. him. We're, We're friends. We do, we not, do not have, have to, agree to agree to remain, to remain friends. friends. And, and I, I realize, realize some of you may not agree with what I'm going to say, to say today. today. That's, That's okay. okay. You, you have, have a right, right to be wrong, wrong. I mean, to your opinion. opinion. <laughs> After our, our panel, panel was seated, a member of the church read from, from 1 Timothy, Timothy the, passage the passage that I read about, about women, women keeping silent in churches. churches. This, this church member argued, argued that women should, should not be pastors, pastors because, because Eve, Eve was deceived. Was deceived. I, responded I responded that Paul must not have read, read his Bible, Bible too closely. closely. The host, host pastor, pastor was shocked and challenged, challenged me. me. I said that Hebrew, Hebrew is clear in Genesis, Genesis that, that Adam, Adam was with Eve, Eve when the serpent, the serpent deceived her and when, and when she, she ate from the from pomegranate. pomegranate. I know, I know you, you thought, thought it was an, an apple. apple. Then, then she, she handed, handed Adam, Adam the pomegranate, and, and he took a bite, bite of it, too. The text, the text says, says that Eve took of its fruit and ate, and she, and she also gave some, some to her husband, husband who was with her, her and he and ate. In interpreting this story from Genesis, Genesis there has been a clear male bias. What is what fascinating to me is that the ancient Gnostics made Eve the hero. In the, in the story, story because, because she wanted, wanted to eat from the tree of knowledge, knowledge of good and evil. evil. She, wanted she wanted to know, to know more. more. The Gnostics, Gnostics put a high value, value on knowing secret, secret mysteries and teachings. And teachings. I, think I think that, that on average, average women may be more inquisitive than men and, and are generally, generally better, better communicators, communicators than, than men, both, both in important, important qualities, qualities for a pastor. pastor. Who reads, Who reads more, more books, men or women? Some studies suggest that women read twice as much as men. Women, women seem to want to know, to know more. more. I've, I've attended, attended several, several Christian, Christian writers, writers conferences. conferences. There, there are many, many more women there than, than there are men. men. Before, Before one, one session at the Florida Christian, Christian Writers Conference, conference a, few a few years ago, ago a, woman a woman grabbed, grabbed me and dragged, dragged me to her, to her classroom. classroom. At, least at least that's, that's what, what it felt like. like. We, were we were alone. alone. She said, have, have I got a deal for you? I did not know where she was going with that. It turned out that she was an editor of the Upper Room devotional magazine. She said, she said they, they received six, six devotions written by women for every one they received, received written by a man. man. And their and goal was to have a 50-50 balance with female and male authors. authors. So, she so she wanted me to write, write devotions for a room, room which, which I have enjoyed, enjoyed doing. doing. Getting, Getting back, back to Eve. Eve. Male interpreters have, have said, said for centuries that Eve was deceived and not Adam. Adam. So was so Adam, Adam just plain stupid? stupid? He, was he was standing there the whole time. Was he, was he playing, playing a game, a game on, his on his phone or, or watching, watching his favorite, his favorite team, team on TV? TV? Was he was listening, he listening at, all? at all? I saw, I saw a, post a post on Facebook, Facebook this week that said, my wife says I have two main, main faults. faults. First, First, I don't, I don't listen. listen. And second, second I assume I'm on and on, on about, about something, something else. else. <laughs> There's, There's no, no way you can read the story honestly and think that Adam was any less culpable than Eve. She seems, she seems to have been, been the inquisitive, inquisitive one, the intelligent, the intelligent one, but Adam, Adam did, not did not hesitate to eat the forbidden fruit. fruit. Later, Later, when God, God confronted, confronted him, him, he blamed his wife, wife setting, setting precedent, precedent for all later, later husbands. husbands. Patriarchal bias was, has, has permeated, permeated the church for centuries. centuries. But I don't, but I don't believe, believe that's what God, God intended. intended. Women, Women were created equal, equal to men in Genesis, Genesis 1. 1. Women, Women also had a higher status in the early church. But it did it not, not last, last long. long. While, While it's true that Jesus, Jesus chose 12 male, male, male disciples, disciples to represent the 12 tribes of Israel, Israel. Jesus, Jesus was an ad advocate for women. women. He had he female, female disciples. disciples. Perhaps, Perhaps more, more female, female disciples than he had male. male. In, this In this regard, regard things, things have not changed, changed since Jesus, Jesus walked among, among us. us. Jesus, Jesus still has more, more female, female disciples. disciples. Just, Just look in any church. Women outnumber men. In Luke, In Luke chapter, chapter 8, eight verse, verse 1, we read, Jesus went on through the village, cities and villages proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Herod Stuart Chusa, and Susanna, and many other women who provided for them out of their resources. Did you hear that? 12, 12 male disciples, disciples and, and many, many other, other women. Not only, Not only were many women following Jesus, Jesus as disciples, they were funding his ministry, ministry which, which is even, even more remarkable in a patriarchal, patriarchal culture. culture. 
Jesus and the 12 disciples had food to eat because the female disciples provided for them. As far as I know, having women disciples was unprecedented for a Jewish rabbi in the first century, as well as for any Greco-Roman teacher of the ancient world. The female disciples were quite dedicated to Jesus. Not only did the women provide money for Jesus and his disciples, but the women did not run away at the cross when all when Jesus' male disciples, disciples fled, fled, except for John. John. Would, Would Peter, Peter and John have gone, gone to see the tomb, tomb was empty had the women disciples not gone for there first and come, and come and told the men who, by the way, did not believe them? them. So, the so the female disciples, disciples of Jesus seem to be at least, at least as committed to Christ as, as were, were Peter, Peter, James, and John, and John if, if not more, more so. Jesus' Jesus teaching an example elevated the status of women. women. He offered, he offered living, living water to the Samaritan, Samaritan woman at the well. well. He, warned he warned men against, against divorcing their wives, wives leaving them unable, unable to fend for themselves. For themselves. He, showed he showed mercy, mercy to the woman caught, caught in the act, act of adultery. Of adultery. Jesus, Jesus included, included women. women. Jesus, Jesus insisted on justice, justice for women. women. Jesus, Jesus welcomed, welcomed female disciples. disciples. I cannot, I cannot see, see Jesus saying anything but positive things about the United Methodist Church's ordination of women. If he did say something negative, it would, it would probably, probably be what took the church more than 1,900 years, years to affirm women, women in leadership. leadership. Now we now come, we come to Paul. Paul. Our, Our first scripture is baffling. This, this negative, negative paragraph, paragraph on women, women has, has led many, many scholars to suspect that, that Paul did not write 1 Timothy, Timothy, but that, that it, was it was written later, later by a disciple, disciple of Paul and Paul's name. name. If Paul, if Paul did, did write, write such, such negative, negative words, words about, about women, women why is, Why is he, he changing, changing from, from his previously, previously positive, positive attitude and practice toward women? women? It does it not does seem like Paul. Paul. Why? Why? Because, because Paul, Paul worked, worked alongside women, women in spreading, spreading the gospel. gospel. Often, Often women were the first to believe in Paul's, Paul's preaching. preaching. Several, Several times, times it was, was a woman, woman who was the leader of a church, church that Paul founded. founded. So it so seems, seems very odd, odd that Paul would change his mode of operation in a letter like this. Later, Later, Christian, Christian writing, writing did relegate, did relegate women, women to secondary, secondary status, status as, as Roman, Roman society did as a whole. Unfortunately, the church, the church adapted, adapted to Roman, Roman culture. culture. The ancient, the ancient, ancient Greco-Roman Greco -Roman culture was so male-dominated, as, as was, was the Jewish culture. culture. The first century, first century Jewish, Jewish historian Josephus wrote, wrote the, woman, the woman, says the law, is in all things, things inferior to the man. man. Men could, Men could not, not accept, accept the clear implications of Jesus' teaching and example. And example. Paul's, Paul's early, early teaching and practice, practice incorporated, incorporated women as leaders in the ministry. ministry. After, After nearly, nearly 2,000 years, years the large church, church still will not, will not admit, admit the radicality, the radicality of, of Jesus', Jesus teaching when it, when it comes, comes to women, women having equal status with men. men. However, However, in the in beginning, in both, in both the ministries, ministries of Jesus and Paul, the role of women was elevated. As Paul, As Paul proclaims, proclaims in Galatians, Galatians there is no, no longer Jew or Greek, or Greek there is no longer slave or free, there is no longer male and female, for all, all of you are one in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Women, Women are, are still, still the victims, victims of injustice in so, in so many, so many ways, ways and in so many, so many places, places, including, including the, church. the church. Men have, have afflicted women, women from spouse abuse to the glass, glass ceiling. ceiling. Women, women have, have often been discriminated against and have been excluded from top leadership positions. I'm, I'm glad, glad the United Methodist Church has taken a stand to accept women, women as pastors, pastors bishops, and, and leaders throughout our, our connection. connection. If women, women had kept silent, silent in the in church, church, as First Timothy, Timothy suggests, yes, Christianity would have, would have never happened, happened in the first, first place. The news, the news of the empty tomb would never have been heard because, because the, men the men would not have gone back, back there. If women, if women had kept silent in the churches, many, if not most, of our churches would never have been established including many that Paul wrote, wrote letters, letters to. In several, in several places, places, the first converts were women. women. In some, in some places, places, the churches met in houses that belonged to women. women. If, women if women had kept silent, silent in the churches, Christianity, Christianity would not have survived, survived more than, than one generation. generation. Then, then, as, as now, now, children have been, have been taught, taught the faith by, by their, their mothers, mothers and, and other women. women. Ironically, Ironically, in the second, second letter to Timothy, Timothy, Paul mentions that, that Timothy, Timothy had learned his faith from his mother, and his, and his grandmother. grandmother. Timothy's, Timothy's father, father was a pagan, pagan who worshipped other, other gods. gods. How many, How many of, of us were taught about the love, love of God, God in Christ, Christ from our mothers? Our mothers. I am thankful that women have not kept silent in preaching and teaching the good news of Jesus Christ. 
As we, As we conclude, conclude our, our series, series on the Bible, Bible let, me let me remind you that God, that God has given each, given each of us a brain that we should use. use. Jesus, Jesus said to love God, God with all our minds, which means, which means we are to use, use our reason, reason to interpret the scripture. The scripture. The negative, negative passages, passages of scripture that view women as less than, than men and not, and not worthy of leadership in the church, church reflect an ancient patriarchal culture and do not represent the eternal truth of God. So we, so we follow, follow Jesus', Jesus example, example and set aside, set aside biblical, biblical passages, passages that are unjust against, against women, against women because, because we love our neighbors, neighbors as ourselves. ourselves. We affirm, we affirm a, woman a woman who senses God's, God's call into ministry, ministry just as we affirm a man's sense of calling. calling. That way, that way we, we follow, follow Jesus', Jesus golden, golden rule of treating, treating others the way that we would want to be treated. treated. We put, we put into, into practice, practice Jesus', Jesus directive, directive to love one another, so we affirm Paul's teaching. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is, there is no, no longer, longer slave or free. free. There, is there is no, no longer, longer male and female. And for all, all of us are one, one in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Let, us, Let pray. us pray. Gracious God, God give, us give us wisdom to discern among, among the scripture passages which we should ignore and which, and which we are to apply to our lives. lives. Help, Help us to follow Jesus' practice of setting aside scriptures, scriptures that were unfair and unjust. And follow Jesus' example Help us always, always to interpret the scriptures through the lens of loving others. others. Give, us Give us courage to stand, stand up to those who use the scriptures to condemn or marginalize, or marginalize others, others as the as church has done for centuries with regard to women, women and, and slaves. slaves. And in, and our, in our current, current disagreements, disagreements over how, how to interpret and apply the scriptures, scriptures give, us give us grace, grace and love, love so, that so that we can, we can accept, accept each other, even though we see things differently. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.